Hit me. I got a bone to pick with this whole um, Donald Trump don't like black people all of a sudden thing, you know, in the midst of all of this mayhem. If Donald Trump didn't like black people, he would have never, ever been on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. If Donald Trump didn't like black people, he wouldn't have appeared in Bobby Brown's music video. If Donald Trump didn't like black people, he would have never ever, ever hung out with Muhammad Ali and Rosa Parks. If, if Donald Trump didn't like black people, he would not have gotten an award from Jesse Jackson about how much he is appreciated in the black community. If Donald Trump didn't like black people, him and Al Sharpton wouldn't be taking photographs of him, you know, with his arm around, thumbs up and whatever and whatnot. If Donald Trump didn't like black people, he would have never had a black girlfriend. He would have never had a black girlfriend if he didn't like black people. You listen to what I'm saying. If Donald Trump didn't like black people, he show in the hell when they got them three bass, them, remember them three boys that got caught stealing over in China, whatever, whatnot? He would have told them lock their ass up. They deserve to go to jail if Donald Trump didn't like black people. As far as I'm concerned, he likes black people more than some black people like black people. So, you guys about done with the soup? Don't you like it, Eric? Well, yeah, no, it's great. It's just, well, what time do you guys usually go out and disrespect the flag and stuff? What? Oh, no. Don't tell me you guys already disrespected the flag and flipped over cards today. Did I miss it? Please, I don't know what to do with all this anger. It hurts. I'm sorry your girlfriend broke up with you, Eric. History repeats itself. Unless people learn the first time, it most likely will. It is also said that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. I believe one of this country's major problems is that we elect insane people to speak for us. Some of these people, which we blindly vote for, transform themselves from reps to believing themselves gods, and the people's ideologies become mute. Do we really know these people? On the campaign trail, all we see is a shiny new nickel. And when it's all said and done, they're not worth the two cents that spews from their mouths. We become their spittle, as they don't care for anything other than their own dollars of which they steal from us. They have allowed rioting and looting and ignored the murder of the righteous. They lie to our faces knowing full well we can see the truth. For their agenda, they would allow a group to destroy and condone it as freedom of expression, while those that seek liberty and provision are labeled with obscene names and narratives. The left, rhinos, Hollywood, and mainstream media thrive on lies, and the reliance of you remaining as sheep, lambs being led to the slaughter as they profit. They play us as a game. The loss is our lives. Stop sleeping. Reach out to God. For true freedom comes from above. They block God's message, and for that they will fall as Nebuchadnezzar's statue. Always remember that although they may point the finger at us, God is pointing at them because God is in control.